Hello, this is Vek. Welcome to my channel. I thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful country of Vanuatu here in the Pacific Ocean and I'm in the capital of Vanuatu, the beautiful city of Port Vila. Today I'm visiting the Cultural Museum of Vanuatu or the National Museum of Vanuatu as it is known. So I'm going to give you a full tour, a full tour and I will explain everything that we are seeing here. We're going to see 3,000 year old clay pots from the Lapita people. We're going to see real skulls decorated during their Ram Pram ceremonies and a lot of other artifacts. So join me for a tour. You're really going to enjoy this if you have never seen Melanesian art and Melanesian artifacts. This is Vic. Let's go. What you're looking at here is a decorated real skull of a deceased person. And I will explain to you what's happening here. There is an island here in the country of Vanuatu by the name of Malekula. And they practice a ritual by the name of Ramp Ramp. R-A-M-P R-A-M-P. And according to this ritual, when somebody dies, the skull is removed and it gets decorated and it is kept by their relatives. It is a way of offering thanks to the deceased for what he did during his life. And this is a real skull of a deceased man decorated by his brother in 1970 in Malekula. And this skull has been received by the museum and it is kept here in a cabinet. You can see the pink and the blue and the white colors applied to the face of the skull. And there is hair around it. And this is a real skull, guys, according to the person that manages the museum here. Let's go look at another one. Come on. And uh, here's another skull decorated more elaborately from the first one I showed you. This is a real skull once again. I don't have the date of this one, but you can see the painting of the face, the hair, and what's coming out of his forehead here is uh, a pair of tusks from wild pigs. Look at this. Now the museum here has many more skulls that I was able to see in the back room. But I wasn't allowed to videotape. But these two are very good samples of what I saw about half an hour ago here in the museum. Okay guys, we are looking at something very, very rare and very, very precious here at the museum. This pot that you see here, clay pot, is about 3,000 years old and it is called Lapita clay pot. Now Lapita are the very first settlers of this area. And they came to this area about 3,300 years ago. That's before 1000 BC. They came from uh, Solomon Islands and they spread through Vanuatu, Fiji, New Caledonia, Tonga, and Samoa. And the Lapita people created these clay pots that you see here. This is about 60, 50 centimeters in height. It's really a big one. And it has very elaborate carvings here on the side and I think the camera can capture some details. So this is Lapita clay pots from the Lapita people. Now the Lapita people of course were the first settlers of Melanesia and Vanuatu of course is located in Melanesia in the Pacific Ocean. So these are the ancestors of Vanuatu and they created these clay pots here and uh, here is the second lapita clay pot 
you can see the elaborate carvings and designs on the side. This one is about 30 centimeters in height and about 40 centimeters in diameter. And it is absolutely beautiful. I hope the camera can capture some of the designs and shapes carved on the side. Unfortunately, the cabinet here is not suitable for videotaping through the plastic glass. But you get a very good idea. Here is a headdress worn during circumcision ceremonies. Now, Vanuatu is known for its pottery, clay pottery. Here's a very good example of a vase or a cooking vessel. Now, they were used for three different uh, purposes. The clay pot that you see here, the first purpose for was to cook meat and f fish and yams. The second purpose was for these uh, clay pots here to be used for ritual or religious ceremonies. And the third reason was for exchange. It was used as, as currency. Here's a very good example. And this uh, place here, this particular cabinet here, is full of beautiful samples of pottery from Vanuatu. So let's look uh, at a few more. And uh, here are a couple of uh, tam tams, T A M T A M, or a drum. They are wooden. You can see the slit here that is open. And if you hit them on the side, they make a very characteristic noise. So here's one of them. Here's the other one. Here's the opening or the slit. And uh, here's another one. This one is uh, four meters in height what follows now is a collection of uh, head dresses you're looking at one right now now these headdresses you're going to see now were used in several ceremonies like funeral, yam ceremonies, initiation ceremonies, and also circumcision ceremonies. So here's uh, a view of the few of these absolutely spectacular headdresses coming up.
Now let's uh, let's videotape a few statues and monuments, both uh, stone and wooden, from a variety of islands here in Vanuatu. Here's the first one. And uh, here is a collection of bracelets, rings, necklaces made out of shell. So what's coming up is a few clips, short clips of jewelry made here in the Vanuatu Islands. Now let's look at some uh, musical instruments and here we can see four flutes made out of uh, bamboo the two that you see on top or to the left of the frame are beautifully decorated and you can see the holes on them And here you see ankle shakers that will be tied around the ankle of the dancer used in dancing ceremonies. And uh, here's another shell over here which is much much bigger and when blown, according to the sign here, when blown it could be heard from a couple of kilometers away and it was used to invite people to meetings and the sign here says that uh, this shell could also be used as a form of money, currency in some of the islands <laughs> 